And like, I try. I try. Oh, hello, hello. My name's Prue, or Prue LaRue, and we have just gone through something. <sighs> this will be the third eye look I'm now doing today. So I'm gonna prime my eyes the same way I did in the other one, which is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance and then the MAC Paint Silly Pot over the top. I'm gonna to ponder my eye look a bit more. All right, I'll be back. So I don't know if any of that was just filming. So I'm just putting 373 from my Inglot Shadows down, which is a white base and that's gonna help make everything pop. I did the other eye, but I think the filming cut out. So you're only gonna see one eye that I'm doing. Anyway, I was just saying how much I wish I had a smaller camera that I could put in my handbag and bring with so I could show you guys like what I'm going to tonight. I'm going to go in with 372, which is a blue from the Inglot Shadows. And this is going to maybe like a base. Uh, and this is one of my Jessup brushes. Let me know if you guys would be interested in some of my brushes. I have a wide range from expensive to really cheap from eBay and AliExpress. Uh, this is a Jessup brush and I actually have these, well, should I say no. I have these because I saw them on the Reddit Makeup Addiction as a recommendation ages ago. And I sort of just kept buying from the brand. So I've got a bit of their collection that I could show you. Um, are you interested in a brush video? Let me know. Oh, this is where I should pull it up. I'm gonna go back in the Sony J uh, that I used in the previous video. Just because this feels lovely on my eye and they feel quite irritated and annoyed at me right now. I didn't clean it, so it has all the other colors on it too. Oh, that looks better with the mix. So I gotta go into the, in the Huda Beauty again. I'm going to pull out, I reckon it's this shade that's done it. It's just going to make it a bit bluer. And we're going to go the other eye too. Uh, well let me know what kind of videos you, you would like to see. I was thinking of doing some stuff about being mindful in makeup. I guess like your classic will I buy it video. The problem is those videos take so much effort to film. Just like all the editing required is a lot. Uh, because inserting the pictures, collecting the pictures is heaps. And I love watching them. Um, and because I have a bit more respect for them now, I watch them even more. Uh, so I've definitely put more appreciation into watching them. I'm gonna go with this shadow in the back than I had previously because I just like I don't know you don't think about all the editing when you are watching them all and uh, you just enjoy the content but when you start editing stuff it changes your perception of like how much effort these people are putting into shit and like I try I try that looks so much worse on the camera than it does in real life. That's hilarious. On the camera, I can see this needs a little bit more pigment. Right, going back in with this blue at the bottom on this side. This side's just blown out to something else. in with this shade here Let's see what happens I just want to lighten it up to be honest beautiful all right let's cut that crease again let's try a different concealer actually I'm gonna put white down I bought this the other day and I want to play with it. 
So I've just picked it up on this little small brush because I'm not sure what's going to happen. I'm just going to dab. The camera cut out for some reason. Anyway, I've decided I'm still a bit traumatized from the glitter. So I'm pulling out the Kat Von D 10 year anniversary palette. And I think I'm going to go into, I, I like these two shades. I find it too difficult to figure out what shades hers actually are. So this is the gold and this is like a, I don't know, some beautiful reflecty shit. So I think the beautiful reflecty shit's going to go on my eye. I'm just going to see what happens. I need to spritz them. Change that while I'm paying attention. I'm gonna go back in with the Huda Beauty, this shimmer here, for the outer parts. I'm just gonna use a pokey brush. deepen up this edge enough so I'm just going to put the blue shimmer everywhere and it's pretty so I like it I'm kind of feeling it all right now I just want a little pokey brush I'm gonna go in oh I'm gonna use my Wayne Goss and I'm gonna pull out that Inglot black this will be my first time playing with it so this is the J-Lo Black, and that's the one that they all recommended. I think like two of the girls were like, the J-Lo Black is the best. Sorry, I like tuned out of uh, paying attention for a bit. Um, anyway, I put the black all over there, all over there. I think it did a good job. I'm not sold on this eye look. I just sent a picture to my friend for opinions. I'm just gonna clean up the sides, which is a rare thing for me to do taking this look seriously. Yeah, sorry, I just got into like a weird mood where I like looked at my eye look, I wasn't sure if I like it, I don't know. I'm going with it, I like it. Plenty, I think. Anyway, I'm going to, well let's do liner. Then I might do my brows. Do you wanna watch that? I don't really know. I think it'll be really boring. So I think I will maybe put on some YouTube. I'll come back and tell you when I watch, when I get back. Oh, look how pretty I made that one. Fingers crossed for the other. Oh, in a corner, I forgot about you. something with that eye. This one's cuter, but I'm still like mastering that art. Anyway, I'm gonna do my brows quick and I'll be back. That was a long break, much longer than I thought. And you can see my face is much different. <laughs> anyway, I just watched some RuPaul music videos cause I love them to be honest. And I just, you know, like, I don't know. Sometimes I feel a bit weird when I do crazy looks like this. And I, I don't know, I just like bottom out confidence. It's really weird. So I just continued on. I've got another Whiskey Coke mix going on. Round with the Hourglass Veil. Fenty 150. I've got Fenty Linen as my concealer. I put the Cover FX in Moonlight as my highlighter. But it's hidden by the powder at the moment. 
I've got the KKK contour stick in light and I have covered absolutely covered my face in the hourglass veil translucent powder put on Kylie pencil and lipstick in dazzle I will jazz it up in a little bit and I did my brows with the ABH dip brow in a dark brown and then I set it with gel I look my sister's on the last care of hidden I've got two minutes to wait all right glitter shade is already sort of creasing but oh well and we just need to put something underneath the eyes well let's let's pull out freak which is like my new favorite I think from Urban Decay and we're gonna put this underneath my eyes I found my favorite compact but let me know if you get those feelings sometimes like when you've gone really crazy with your makeup and you're just like whoa I don't know like I like what I've done I think it's more like one of those confidence things but it's cool. I'm going to like a drag the queen thing tonight. I really don't think it matters too much what I wear. That is freak under the eye. <laughs> My sister's gonna laugh so much. All right, well, I'm excited to see her reaction now. <laughs> don't really care. I mean, I care, I care. Because <sighs> I drink more whiskey. All right, now I'm gonna go under the eyes with a, mm, 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 a brush, preferably. I'm gonna use a sticky one. And this is from Colourpop. I'm gonna go in with a really like this shade. All right, and I've just realized I sort of need like an orange to go in the corner. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna pull into the Kat Von D. I really struggle with the shades, and I don't think like anyone has this palette. Well, I just I never see it on YouTube. But last time I tried saying all the shades, I got them all wrong. I forgot inner corner highlight and the brow highlight so let's fix that up right now I'm gonna use this shade so this is from the enchanted luster Halloween collection oh, which so I think you can't get them anymore anyway but she is releasing like this amazing looking palette coming up oh here's my sister hello oh you're on video again by the way <laughs> what do you I think? I can't see it that clear, but... Yeah, you're really fuzzy. But why is under your eyes all, like... Oh, that's pink? actually... I haven't finished yet. Oh, okay. That's powder. You set the powder with... Um, you set your concealer so it doesn't crease. Let me just quickly yeah, finish okay. this. Oh, yeah, so you get the full effect. Here we are. I'll fix the patch. Notes. Um... Yeah, not as patchy. Yeah, there you go. All right, well, if you give me your opinion now. So I'm going to the Drag Queen Sickening Ball tonight, which is why my makeup is like this, by the way. Oh, okay. Awesome. Where is it? Uh, at a gay club called Family in Brisbane. Um, so what do you think? And do, you have, do you have mascara on? No, not yet. Yeah. Yeah, do that. Yeah, it's good. Thank you. All right, so I got advised to change my lip color, which we've done. I've put the MAC Cultured Pencil on and I've used the Patrick Star MAC combo and this is She Better Work. I've done a bit of highlighting. So I've put on some of my Anastasia Peachy Love. I couldn't separate the two, so I just put them both, these two both on. I've got, I put on some Fenty Highlight over the top of the cover of X. I've got MAC Selected Blush on. Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and Light on, and hmm, I'll say it in my face. Not much else, I think. Let's bring you out because I'm just pondering life right now. Sorry, it helps me to think when I put things away. Oh, I want to try putting lashes on. So the Kat Von D is creasing as we talk so I'm gonna have to top that up with something else uh, I'm just gonna tap this shade on with my finger I'm just gonna try some of this glow in the dark with some of the Duraline alright so this 
brush is just picking up the littlest parts. And we go on with the finger. I think I'm in for it. Now let's try putting on some lashes. This is usually where everything goes wrong. Please like cross your fingers for me. Alright, this isn't gonna happen. I'm just gonna go up while I'm ahead. Alright, well I forgot to film that, but I just went over the bad girl bang mascara and took off that lash. I just, I didn't think it was really gonna work. I put glitter on. Did I film that? I'm not even sure. I think I did. And I think let's just add some iridescent from MAC on the top. I'm just gonna go with a little really precise brush. This is more what I was hoping for. All right, and then I didn't tell my sister about this. Lip topper, and then I'm ready to get dressed. I'll see if I can show you the outfit, but I don't know if I have enough time to fuck around. So this is from Joya, Lip Topper, and this is Funfetti. And, 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 this is what I've been most excited about. Where did I put it? I had it. Are you ready for this? We're gonna turn the lights off. And look, I have glow in the dark stars on me. I think I'm ready. I'm done, aren't I? My face is done. Sorry, it has been a wild, wild ride. I really hope this is entertaining. I hope I enjoy watching it back. I really do. I hope I enjoy watching whatever I did. I hope I have fun tonight. I can't wait. I'm gonna come back and do like, what happened to your face? I'll do those as separate things. The editing of this is gonna be insane. So much glitter. It's great. I love it. All right. This is kind of like the finished, finished piece. <laughs> I love this dress. I'm excited to have someone to wear it. I must admit. I need to cover my face in setting spray. We use Old Faithful M D K All Nighter D Slick spray. And I'm gonna go dance around my room, finish off my whiskey coke, and then head off. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's always such a journey. <sighs> I'll come back and take you through my face, tell you about my night. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I love you, you're amazing. <laughs> All right, let's All right, let's try this again. Damn, this is a fit. All right, how'd it go? It's been a good couple hours. I'll put down how long it's been, because I've forgotten. But I sweated a lot. Like a lot. A lot, and a lot, and a lot. So, let's check it out. I think we're gonna do like a full face check-in today. So, brows still pretty much the same. Forehead. So where the, I mean that's, that looks pretty much as much as I left it. Bit of creasing with the concealer. Looks like the foundation's left this area. Oh yeah, this is like my sweat zone. I'm not surprised, but it's all everywhere else. Our lips lost long ago. Chin, pretty good. Both eyes pretty good. Some loss, but not too bad. I've seen a lot worse. Mascara is holding up beautifully. Yeah. I don't have any complaints. Make it a two-parter. So my failed look and this look. Anyway, I had so much fun. It was so much. It was so nice seeing the queens um, up close, and it's given me like a bit to think about, <laughs> which I realise is probably a bit funny. But I just really want, I want people to feel loved. That's what, that's what I took away from the whole thing. So I'm really gonna try and make an effort to 
spread love. That sounds so silly. But I think, I think as much as we can all say that we love each other, we don't. I challenge you to just say something nice to someone today. I'm going to do it. I'll say nice, I'll say something nice to someone. Whether or not it's just a checkout girl at the checkout and complimenting her nails. Try and spread goodness in this world. Because I feel like we have enough negativity. And, you know, I just want to say I appreciate you for clicking on this video and watching this. I hope it's been entertaining. I can definitely see why people, like, listen to music while they create looks. I feel like that pumps you up more and you're like, woo! Especially when you're just doing stuff by yourself. Because uh, it's so intimidating to go out by yourself. I mean, I was catching up with friends, but I hadn't really met them properly before. So it was really intimidating and anxiety inducing. <sighs> And I wish it wasn't. But ultimately it was so much fun. Uh, I loved seeing all the queens in action. It was really cool. Uh, Alaska Thunderfuck, Sharon Needles, oh my god. Vivacious, Miss Cracker. Oh, I know I'm forgetting some, but anyway, they were really cool. And it was really fun to see. I'm so into my look. <laughs> so spread love and positivity. Thank you for stepping by. I really appreciate you. Mwah.